Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Today on Twitter, Blizzard sent out this teaser. Patch 25.4.3 coming on Thursday. And five cards are going to be changed, yes, and all of them with the red color, so all of these are going to be nerfed. Five nerfs, two of them for standard, well, one card is in both standard and wild, and two of them for wild format. So pretty interesting. I earlier made a video saying that we need two nerfs for this meta to be held here, and those nerfs would be construct quarter and then something about the shaman deck. I wasn't really thinking about the null, but yeah, construct quarter and null. So this is what Blizzard is going to go for. They are going to nerf Construct Quarter. We don't get the nerf details yet. We're going to find that out on Thursday. But Construct Quarter nerf, nerfing, well, every Death Knight deck, because it has been such a phenomenal card in every Death Knight deck. I just hope that they don't just dust the durability. I hope that they add the mana cost and something. So they would really nerf that and give other decks more breathing room. And then Evolve Shaman. And they are actually going to touch the Null. That's a bit of a surprise because, like, touching the Null typically just kills the deck. You have to make the Null either cost 8 or 11 to make any difference. If Null costs 9, then you evolve it and it come, becomes the end drop. Yeah, it actually becomes better because it can't become a Null again ever. So, yeah, going to 8. But wouldn't that then be too strong in some other cases? Would that even qualify as a nerf? And then it has to go to 11. And if it goes to 11, that's a huge nerf to Evolve Shaman. Because nerfing, like evolving anything that is a 10 cost then will evolve into an all. And you don't want to evolve into an all. And an all can only be an all. There's no other cards at 11. So, yeah. That's going to be huge, and I think that's probably going to kill Evolve Shaman in the meta, if that really happens. That That's an interesting turn of events. So, yeah, a lot of interesting stuff going on with Standard Lady this week, by changing just two cards. And then there are the changes to Wild Format. There's the Spectral Pillager. Spectral Pillager, Pillager Rogue is not super common, but Pillager Rogue is a deck that can OTK you on turn 5 or turn 6. So, yeah, I can see they're, they're now limiting some of these earliest OTKs in Wild. And then Cataclysm. Cataclysm, the reason Cataclysm is now nerfed, it's not Megatoon, nope. And the reason Cataclysm is now nerfed is because of Discard Warlock. Discard Warlock, just very aggressive, gets a bunch of stuff on the board, hits you in the face. Then you just try to stabilize, swing the game, but then they drop Cataclysm, they destroy their own board too, and your board, and then all of those cards that they discard from their hand turn into damage straight to your face. So that also happens around turn 5 or turn 6. Yeah, so... Two ways to end the game around turn 5 or turn 6 are going to be nerfed, and yeah, that sounds great for Wild. And then there's that one more card. This card, the Grey Sage Parrot. 6 mana, 4, 5 beast, Battlecry, repeat the last spell you've cast that costs 5 or more. Well, this is not going to be nerfed for standard. There's no reason to nerf it in standard. Big Spell Mage is not that great, even though Big Spell Mage is a playable deck. And nerfing this for standard, yeah, that would kind of actually hurt Big Spell Mage. Maybe make Ping Mage the better alternative by even a better margin. But I actually don't think this nerf will touch standard at all. What I think is going to happen with Grace Age Parity is that they're going to change this to repeat the last spell you've cast that costs six or more. Because then it will no longer repeat Time Warp. So you can no longer use it in Quest Mage in Wild. And this is the card that makes Quest Mage in Wild so crazy. At times anyway. But if it changed to cast a spell that costs 6 or more, then there are no 5 cost spells that you currently want to cast with this in Standard. So it will be completely unaffected in Standard and Big Spell Mage will be completely fine. So that's what I believe is going to happen. Which means 2 nerfs for Standard, 3 nerfs for Wild, Looking like a pretty good set of nerfs, even though I don't know the exact effects, but just judging by the cards that they have chosen. So I'm really looking forward to this. Looks good. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.